The Brask Man. All right. Spinoderm's great. Twilight's great. Other Twilight's good. Ivar's bad. Uh-oh. We have some nice white aggro cards. Look at this. Two Chorus, Ambassador, two Duelists, two Charge, two Raptors. That is a crazy start to a white toxic aggro. Blue is absolutely unplayable there. Damn, blue is real bad. Look at that. Yeesh. Oops. Down. What does red have? A couple engravers. Halberd. Two volt charges. Oh yeah, it has the Urabrask. Green. Two Vorak. Sorry, Blue. You are just unplayable here. Uh, we have Gardens for Fixing, Expanse, Dune Mover for some pseudo fixing. Damn. The white's insane for white toxic aggro, but it doesn't look like it meshes all that well with any other color. I think it's okay with black, it's okay with red, it's okay with green. What is my what are my best cards? Obviously just gonna be the rares for the most part. These three. What are my best non rare cards? Two Vorax. Chair is actually pretty good and sealed. Two charges is okay. Engravers are actually pretty good. Drown is good. I wonder if like a red green splashing Black Sun's Twilight and maybe Drown is worthwhile instead of trying to play the white. Because while I think the white is standalone good, it doesn't actually mesh all that well with any of my other colors. Again, maybe just the black, but I don't think that's good enough. Close though. I mean, I still think it's good. I wouldn't be able to splash Spinoderm or Urobrask. I'm probably going to go red, green, splashing black here. Oops, what did I just cut? But I will take a peek, see at what our sideboard black white deck will look like. Because I do think it's still a fine option in a pinch. Actually, how many poison? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 toxic creatures. Plus the two charges. Yeah, something like that looks really good. Very low curve, too. Not bad. Might be one of those pools where we have a couple different decks that are both viable. Depending on scenario. This is what our Red green splashing twilight would look like. This is more balmy for sure. Yeah, I kind of like this one. I get to play all of my best cards here, and it still looks pretty damn solid. This finisher, maybe not the best. I want to put this, this is going to be generally, this is going to be seven mana. I have one equipment, so I already have a couple fatties. We might want to replace that with one other thing. E one, two, three, four, five. I actually have a decent number of uh, 
oil creatures, don't I? Oh, I could actually splash. Oh, wait, no, we're planning on splashing Twilight. Is there something else? In oh, I'd splash like the Drown. Yeah, I'll go like that. And then I would just run 17 lands. Would I run this? Comes a copy of target non-token artifact. We have two artifacts, three artifacts, I guess. Four. The thing is, when if you copy like one of these equipment, oh, I do have the Salak battle chair. I had two equipment, but when you copy one of these, you don't get the trigger. It just becomes. But I guess I'd still run it as like a uh, unknown shores type effect. I could splash, like, feed the infection card draw if I really wanted to as well. I wonder if the Skull Bomb's better than, like, Crescendo here. Skull Bomb for the Double Engraver, the Spinoderm, and the Skitter Fang's kind of interesting. I actually kind of like that more. I think I could still be playing the Cackler, too. Maybe Cackler's better than the uh, Skull Bomb. Yeah, this deck looks solid. Yeah, I think it says you control, right? Yeah, you control with mana value X. Hmm? I think the average card quality in this deck is higher than the black white, but I think the black white is not only faster, but has a lot of good synergy. What we can do is we can just swap out up decks between games or rounds. No problem. I think both both builds are solid for sealed. Usually I I'd, would rather play the bomb heavier one in sealed because people are going to be slower for the most part. Oh, I have a couple of those red sack lands. Mm, do I want to run both of them? I can probably get away with both, but I'm only going to run one. I, I have two engravers, so... Drawing excess lands is not that bad. I guess I have double Vorak too. Yeah, I'll run one. It's fine. Green White doesn't get to play some of my bombs. Urbrask is kind of nuts. Alright, easy keep on the draw. One land gives us Vorak and we have a two drop. Can't wait to draw that land next turn. Alright. Well, already punished by the one tap land, but here we are. <laughs> Phew! Do not have double green, though. It is true. Tap land better than no land. It stings! Dude, Vorak is so good. I don't have an efficient use of my mana there. I think I'm okay taking one Toxic. It looks like the opponent has the, the deck that I could have built. Alright, I mean, 5-5 five, five Hexproof. Nope. This is actually really sick that we have the uh, two proliferators in our hand for our Spinoderm here. It's just going to remain X proof forever. I'm okay if they want to double block this. 
Thanks for the 21 months, Obi. Athos, thanks for the 16 months. Yeah, I'm A-OK -okay with this. G Wiz, thanks for the 24. Freak, thanks for the 21. Frizzy Fra Frog, thanks for the 43. Hello, all my friends. Looks like they fizzled out a bit. Last turn, I wanted to hold on defense. Wiggle, wiggle. Didn't bounce a land. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean they have some crazy bomb in hand. Good though. Nope, definitely not. All right, GG's. Again, copying the chair doesn't even do anything. It leaves me with an extra equipment, but it doesn't trigger the Fermirid in. Copy Skitterfing also doesn't do anything unless I have a way to put oil counters on it. It would just be an extra 2-2. Two, two. I mean, it would make it a 2-2. Two, two. So, if a 2-2 two, two body is relevant, sure. 2-2. Two, two. Alright, Black, White, Toxic, Aggro. We have a pretty solid deck versus it. We have a bunch of early plays and a bunch of early removal, so... I think I like just running it back. Black White usually has decent canopy, excuse me, targets, but I don't think we even need that. I think the Gardens is not good in my deck. I mean, it's it's more in there for fixing and not for the copying an artifact. I mentioned that already. Eh, if you have like five canker blooms, maybe. I think the sprinter is pretty weak. There are some cards that has okay synergy with, but I don't want to be spending my turn paying three mana to put two counters. This is the only card I'd want to do that with. <laughs> I'm a coffee guy, through and through. It's a nice curve out here. Engraver, Cackler, Spine Derm. Yeah, best of three is definitely better. It could be part of it is, um, honestly, that in best of... One, the hand smoother is kind of problematic. It um, exacerbates the issue of um, the quickness of the format, you know? Maybe I'm just speaking out my butt. However, if a format's fast and you get more reasonable hands or whatever you want to call them, more perfect hands, yeah, in the opening. I 
think I'm making this attack again. Spider is not really a great blocker. It is, but... Also not, if that makes sense. No, no, it's not that something is weird. There's no, there's no shuffler bug. It's just that, yeah, best of one. You have the hand smoother. Magic twenty eleven on Steam. I think I did that one time. I think they. Huh. I really don't want that glider to get turned on super easily here. Do I have to sit back with my Spinoderm now? I don't think so. We also race them very quickly. They only have one card left. This has Trample now, so... 2-3 allowed me to block the Duelist to Deep Faith without them having something, and this is attacked better. We didn't need to have this this turn. Now, if they're using the Disruption on my Cackler, they might very well have another removal spell, but they are under a lot of pressure right now. Alright. Corrupted. Fair enough. Ooh, that was a spicy freaking draw. That lets us live one more turn with Mr. Spiny. God, I could I could put a land on top here to equip the uh, battle chair, and I think that might be right. Pretty funny. Yeah. 11, I have exactly lethal. Spider-Derm, pretty freaking sick. Rah. Urobrask, a cheerleader once more. We drew it that first game, but didn't even need it. Hey, look who it is. Should we show to it? Turn two, or turn three, Green Sun's Twilight for two? Oh, wait, no. It's top plus one. Turn two, Green Sun, and just hit the land plus creature. GG. Let me shuffle and stack my deck real quick. I mean, it's true. You get six packs, so that's minimum 120 gems per. So 200, let's say, and we open, let's just say it's, I guess 240, 400. Yeah, only down like, wait, 240, not anything else. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah. Fine, another black white. What did I say? We were, we were going to be down 1600, so we'd only be down like 1400. All right, well, our draw was kind of poor. We have a lot of early game plays, but didn't really find the ones we wanted here. Wow, so lucky. How, how did they hit a land? Punished! Mm, 
I don't feel so good. Sealed is generally just slower than draft. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't actually a bad draw. See? Now Auto Tapper was trying to leave up the freaking gardens there when I have no artifacts. Now where are their truthers? Alright. Well, good news is we learned that they have two anoints and that I should not let them get poison three on me. Um, yeah, they look like a pretty nice black-white toxic. Yeah, we just need to find some of our earlier plays. We have plenty of stuff to do early, we just didn't have it. Like, we had Drown, and then our first creature play was on until turn 5, so... Where's my hand smoother? Good enough. I kind of like pitching a predation steward here. The way I see it is if we just draw over more lands, we have the, engraver, uh, the engraver to pitch some of them away. Although they might just have an anoint for the first engraver. We'll see. Tiver? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think there's anything I would want to cut for it. He returns like two drops from my graveyard or something. He does let me have haste with the engravers. Oh, he please. All right, now I'm just going to lead off with the steward and trade. That is to say, I'd rather not trade with the engraver. We'll see if they use one of their anoints here. Comical zombie. Thanks for the 40 months. It's not a command, you just click on your deck and then there's a view sideboard button. I'm gonna give death touch? Sure. Or weather. Destructible. Haste with the stewards, I think, is probably less relevant. That feels weird, but I think it's fine when we have Spinoderm coming down. We even drew the Swamp. Nice. We didn't see any sack effects. This is annoying, of course. Pretty sure that's too much of a clock not to just run out or attack with. Yep. Alright, here we go. That might have killed us. Okay, well, that's a good sign. <sighs> hey! They clearly don't have anything if they left that back. Phew! Spiny boy in a dream. <sighs> Spiny boy in a dream. On the draw, I might want to make some sideboard changes. Let's see. Like, the Cackler's pretty bad versus their 3-2s. I'd rather bring in, like, a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two here to block with it early instead of having a 3-mana two 2-3 -three that's still going to trade with it. I don't want to bring the Stalker in, I guess, since they have a bunch of Mites and garbage. 
They couldn't double block, right? Oh, you're talking about the Hive Master? Two Hive Masters? It's a sorcery. The Drown. Oh, God. This is really close to a keep. If I draw a land in the first two turns, this hand is amazing because Dune Mover finds the third land. Vorak potentially, fi presumably, finds the f uh, fourth. No, I think this is a totally reasonable hand to keep. I think it's totally reasonable. If I brick, so be it. That's a risk, of course. But if I just hit in the first two draw steps, we're in really good shape. Sadly, they played a flying toxic creature here. Dang it. Not a bad turn. <laughs> Not for three mana. Double kill. I think it was important to kill that as soon as possible, though, knowing their deck. It's the return of the Spinoderm. Be aggressive. This is, in fact, a sealed areno. All we need to do is drag, draw one of our volt charges or something, and that should be game over. Yep, no, they look like a good black-white draft deck. For sure. I mean, I think my deck is also very good. I guess I'm just going to give Vigilance here. There's very large temptation to Green Sun for one as well, and I think I'm going to do that. Probably should have done that before playing out the skitter, but... Green Sun for five next turn, there's no guarantee of that. And if we do hit a land next turn, we can just battle chair instead. Easy! Easy. Probably is not right. No, I think that's absolutely right. Snipe mercenary. Thanks for the six months of E. Look, if Shota can fire that off for one, then so can I. Checkmate. Fat, 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 fat. What's up, ATX Roy? Thanks for the 47. Go, two, one.
And what's good? Do 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 All right, deck. I just need to find one Lando, please. Can't kill that one. Nice. Dude, turn three Borak just feels so good. <laughs> what the actual good colors are. Yeah, red, green, red, white. Blue white. I don't know, anything's fine. Depends on what's open in the draft. I guess I'll just play another Vorak here. No! My babies! Spinoderm and Urabrask on the bottom of the deck now. I do have one Evolving Wilds to shuffle somewhere, I think. I didn't want a predation when they had that much mana open, but when they killed my skitter thing or whatever it's called, I was happy to. Big Daddy Furnace. Alright, this is fine. Laura fades. Thanks for the four months. What's up, Wizcash enthusiast? Thanks for the six months, Subby. Well, I don't actually think they can attack here. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Now we get to shuffle our bombs back on top, too. I also have two Volt Charges in the deck. In fact, if I don't shuffle, we're more likely to find a... Volt charge. I'm still gonna shuffle, but... Oh, did I put one on the bottom? Oh, there we go. And the reason I figure still shuffling is fine, since Urabrask has haste, plus we have two rummagers. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Not technically dead here. They aren't, that is. I don't even know what's in my graveyard. Probably does it. Uh, block, block, block. No, they're not dead here. They would go chump, eat, bounce, go to one. 
Yeah, it seems worth. Yeah, if I had looked at my graveyard, I would have found lethal by killing the flyer. <laughs> That's what I get for not looking at my graveyard. I mean, technically I missed lethal, but I didn't miss lethal because I didn't see it. Because I didn't look. Just think of it like, like that. If I don't see it, how can we know it's there? Exactly. All right. Uh, what did we see? Not too much else. I'm going to bring in the canopy for all the artifacts. What am I cutting? Maybe the CAC? What did they have? Oh, well, CAC seems fine. Eh, whatever. The best of three sealed. Oh, I have the stinger too. I should have brought in the stinger, yeah. Thanks again, the green giant for the five months of E. It's tempting, but I'm going to mulligan. I could pitch land here no problem if I wanted to, but I think I'm just going to pitch the stand. I could also pitch the steward. Actually, uh, I'm going to pitch steward here. Scry bug. It's awkward to auto tap, but it was trying to hold up Tiver's stand instead of free from flesh. Is it weird to pitch the Skitter Fang here? I don't think it is. If they go glider, I'm going to want to have canopy. No, I can pump to a four power. Damn stupid five toughness. I'm blocking, and if I get blown out, so be it. Alright, I mean, them using Vanish on that isn't that bad. It's two for one, sure, but... Wasn't that bad. Probably going to two for one myself again. No joke. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. I think I'm supposed to drown their engraver.
Copy their Slinger. I think that's a good play if they do that. It's not lethal on the board, but it's a lot of pressure. And I needed to find a spell there. If we draw a creature there, we're probably doing okay. We get to predate something. All right, well, two for one myself too many times. Nah, we're fine, run it back. Slinger, stinger, whatever. Yeah, best of one sucks. Man, this is the kind of hand you keep and then you cry when you die. Because you know you're going to die. But think of all the good cards I could draw. Think about Spinoderm on turn four. I'm just going to start giving lifelink way too many counters not to use them. Because now if it just dies, at least I've gained two life off of it. they block, great. If they don't block, great. Sure. If they didn't block, I would predate it after damage. So I gave it Death Touch, so Death Touch Punch is a combo. Ooh, they didn't have a Furnace Strider? Go, 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 chair! What, did, what kind of hand did they keep if they didn't do anything last turn? Like Vanish into Eternity here, I guess, on my chair? Oh. Uh-oh. Maybe they have Twilight or Emperor. That's pretty good. Okay. So, I think they have Vanish in their hand, but they also had that, so they didn't use it. This might look weird, but I think I just tw Twilight for 5 and then play out the Forest. That way, if we hit Urubrask, I'd be able to stand. Okay. I think we might just have to fireball them. I am not going for it. I should have played my land out first though, whoops. God, I miss lethal because I'm bad. Oh, no. No. I'm so bad at this game, dude. The thing is, I have two Axiom Engravers. Uh, but I should have played it out because it was lethal. That was really bad. You can punt me. I'll accept punts at this time. <laughs> Deserved. Oh. Rask an opening hand. Nah, I'd rather get the engraver online. Save the predation to discard. I don't think it's firing off Twilight there for two is bad. That might have been better. 
The eyes have it. Uh, I and sealed. It must have a decent number of artifacts. I'm going to regret not having cast the Twilight on turn three. This is Chrome Cat Bait. All right, combat. Or Charge of Mites. Bro, you can't fool me. I guess we need to do it for two in case they have the Zealots. That quote is from eight years ago, seven years ago. Read. So rude. I told you. He's one of my pupils. Been teaching him for eight years plus. Yeah, Alright, let's just get the value train rolling. Sentry. Well, that eats the engraver, but that doesn't deal with the Brasker. And even if they have another planner disruption, it's still going to be an annoying enchantment. All right, see you later, Engraver. Oh, do they have counter? <laughs> Blah, punished. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Yikes. Two volt charges on the bottom now. Tablet? See, why couldn't they hit the bring the ending off the Urobras trigger? Then it would have felt like I won. How do I win this game? I guess I draw my battle chair or something. Oh yeah, I have that. Oh, convenient. What's up, O'Keefe? Thanks for the 64. No! Oh, sauce, 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 sauce. I wonder if they need to eat the engulfer now. Probably not, but... All right, another match where Canopy comes in. I don't think I have any main deck ways to get rid of that, right? No canker blooms. What other enchantment removal would it have? Ooh, that's a pretty good draw too. Eight seven first strike trample reach. Blech. 
I mean, in best of three, I don't think you need to main deck the canopy, though. In best of one, I don't mind. Um, having in the main. Look, guys, their tablet almost did something. Almost a good attack with everything. No. The the Halberd, or rather, if the Micah Synth Gardens copies any Fermiridin, is since it's technically already on the battlefield, it just becomes a copy of the equipment without triggering the ETB, because this is an enter the battlefield ability. Pump? Pump's not lethal. What are you guys talking about? Oh! It wasn't swing out that was lethal, but pump was lethal because of the hidden text. Can't be blocked by creature with flying. So the only creature that could uh, block this would be the, well, block it with reasonable toughness in front of it would be the sentry. So if we put this pump on the engulfer, it becomes eight. How much life were they at? I would only have two other two power creatures. So they'd have to put, yeah, it was lethal. No, wait. No, it wasn't. They put the 4-4 four, four on one of the other 2-2s. Two, they put the, a 2-2 two, two, and the 1-4 on the... On the, uh... They live at 1, maybe? It's not lethal, but... Oh, what is up with this? Do you see this button? They're broken. They're completed. Look at that. The arrows are completed. Client restart fixes it. What if I don't want to fix it? Hmm. I don't think this is a bad keep on the draw, but I'm not going to. We can just do better. Same hand, but better, basically. Just need to find one land. Easy curve up. What's up, O'Keefe? Thanks to the 64. Dr. Witty! Thanks to the 10 months of Prime. You know what? I don't think I've had the sword. Ever. Now that I think about it. I don't recall ever drafting the sword. Or having it in sealed. I've had it kill me a couple times. If I did have it, then I don't remember. Apparently it was not impactful. Okay, they're putting on a bit of pressure here, but... Daddy Derm's online. Sad throwing bird.
I'm okay with that. And we have two different ways to put more counters on our Spinoderm too. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Versus white when they have 6 slash 7 mana. Alright. Since they let that resolve, they're probably dead. Because now they can't touch the Spinoderm. Punished! Trample? No. Now it's hexproof, buddy. A GG! <clears throat> Got him. Easy 4-0. We went 0-2 and then we went 4-0. Success.